ladies and gentlemen, it is Father's Day 2018. And at the end of the transmission, I'm going to cover the most important information we've covered in the last hour and 50 minutes. The international currency of the global psychopathic kleptocracy is the rape of children, the trafficking of children, the torture of children, the murder of children. And that's how Zbigniew Brzezinski even admitted in a, several books he wrote that global elites controlled populations. Former National Security Advisor wrote multiple books admitting that governments controlled organized crime, even child trafficking. And sex parties and Satanism with men and women is only the gateway drug into molesting children, abusing children, using children up, and then strangling them or bleeding them out. I know the secrets of Eyes Wide Shut. I'm not allowed to tell you. I was given it in confidence by Vivian Kubrick, but I'm going to leave it just at that. But there is a, a lot of news in Europe and some in Asia, but nothing in the United States. And I've noticed that there will be Italian TV piece. One that I saw about 15 years ago, one of thousands of stories like this that got out because reporters at their job on a national magazine show of little Italian children grabbed and taken into Eastern Europe, two and three-year-old boys raped, gang raped by men till their guts are coming out of them. And then they shoot the little baby boys in the head with 357 Magnums. And the big story was that they had sold thousands of VHS tapes, is still how they did it, one-offs, and the main place that had been shipped was Hollywood, California. Because, oh, the elites, they deserve everything. It's all about them and the, how arrogant they are and how divorced from God they are. And they were taking this stuff as an evil thrill to get closer to the dark energy that they believe they get power from. And then I remember reading in the foreign press how those reporters were fired after it aired. Not because it wasn't accurate. They were just fired. So I've been told, you leave this alone or we're coming after you. And you've got the pedos coming out of the woodwork at Vice and at um, the New York Times and at Salon. You can look it up. It's all, it was promoting it, saying, I, I, it, it shows these guys saying that they lust after four-year-old girls and that they're not bad people, and they just look like demons directly out of hell. A pedo opens up about being targeted by vigilantes. It's all how they're victims and how good they are. I'm a pedophile, but not a monster. The New York Times, all of this, and, and, and the early psychological movement was pushing sex with kids. That's what this is. They want as psychic vampires, whether you believe in God or not, there's people that get off on hurting innocents. So, that said, this guy, I've studied him, was a Renfield. He was allowed to get out of Australia. You have the uh, deputy pope being tried for kidnapping over 100 young boys and trafficking them. He's totally guilty. They're having a secret trial in Australia. But this guy was a Renfield. He would deliver them to the Draculas. And I'm saying spiritually they're vampires, not physically. Though blood drinking is at the tip of what they do. And so this is all over the foreign news. This is out of the sun. It's linked up on Infowars.com, and, and at, at his sentencing, he smiled and laughed and thought it was really cute. And of course, look, notice he looks just like Peter, just like Jimmy Savelle. Some of these guys' names are going to mixed up. He looks just like Jimmy Savelle. Peter does. Let's pull up Jimmy Savelle for TV viewers. Radio listeners, look him up. Oh, they found his underground dungeons, his best friends with the royal family, and was shipping kids all over to everybody. They bring kids in and slit their throats in front of the prime minister. Reportedly, world's worst pedo, Peter Scully, who filmed baby rapes, tortured kids, and made them dig their own graves, smirks at life in jail. And if you're a radio listener, you didn't miss anything when we showed him smirking. But how about the hot young ladies that like to wear little eyes wide shut mask? Let's show people that that are in the videos. Not the Hollywood video, but the screenshots in the article. But let's scroll down and show folks some of that. Or just do me a document cam shot. I can do it right here. Look at the evil look on this guy. But look up Jimmy Savelle and see how that same look. That's the look of the Renfield. 
That's the supplier. That's the supplier. Look, guys, search engine, Jimmy Savelle, child sex scandals. You'll have it. We'll put it on screen. Uh, there he is, Peter Gerald Scully. The evil rapist fled charges in Australia in 2011 and moved to areas where he would entice impoverished children with money and gifts. He then drugged the vulnerable youngsters and made films of him raping and torturing them for an international pedophile ring. Oh, those don't exist. The media always says I'm insane. I say those exist. They do not exist, they say. Filipino police say Scully, who buried the 11-year-old under a floor of a house. This is just the one house that he lived in for a few months that they caught him with. He was renting after making a film about him raping her and strangling her to death. Operating a secret child pornography site on the dark web called No Limits Fun, he sold the videos for up to $10,000 per view. Yeah, they were selling the videos of them raping little boys and gang rapes and then blowing their heads off for $20,000 a piece. But the U.S., the FBI said they would not even investigate it. And then it just goes on from there. In the film called With Barbie Playing Daisy, Alvarez and he would participate in the child torture and sexual assault. The little girl screams and cries as she is beaten, raped, tortured, and defiled by Scully and his two masked accomplices. Then they light her on fire, use barbed wire, torture her, waterboard her, and then jam giant objects in her and then kill her. And I hate to get into all this, but this is who runs things. Let me show you the young women. Document cam shot, please. Here they are, just like eyes wide shut. Just like eyes wide shut. It's so good. The young ladies are enjoying their power right now. It feels so good to torture that five-year-old girl to death. Some of the babies he raped to death were one year old. And that's the big thing is that the big thing they like is a kid and then their guts coming out. The big thing is they'll, I hate to get graphic here, but the Satanists like to rip children's guts out, their rear ends. Okay, so that's who runs things and that's who puts fluoride in your water. And that's who thinks you're a slave. And that's who thinks that they're unstoppable. And that's who thinks they can dominate you and that, that there's nothing you can do. Because they're so evil, you can't even imagine it. So they're going to hit you with GMO to warp your genetics. They're going to hit you with fluoride. They're going to microwave you with G5. 5G. They're going to brainwash your kids. They're going to sexualize your children. They're going to promote Satanism everywhere, and you're going to appreciate it and love it. And then they're going to sell the videos everywhere, and you're not going to stop them, they think. I didn't get to the big exclusive with Roger Stone, where he breaks down how it was an FBI informant, a man who'd been an informant before, with a, with a anglicized name who had a Russian background trying to sell them info they didn't buy, and that's how they were trying to plant breadcrumbs. But the media is spending it like Trump's been caught. Oh my God, Russiagate's real. So that's all up on InfoWars.com with that exclusive, and Lord willing, we'll be covering it all tomorrow. If you want to stand against these devil worshipers, you want to stand against the censors, the big telecom and big uh, tech heads, a lot of them that are into this, then you need to take this video and this article and this information and ram it down their dirty, stinking throats and let them know that we're on to them. And you need to also know we're ending tomorrow. It's going to be going on for two weeks. The free shipping on our best-selling items. And 50% off our best-selling supplements like Brain Force X2, uh, Super Mel Vitality, The Real Red Pill Plus, Bodies, and so much more. And when you fund us, it just blocks Soros and the globalists and all these open groups that want to shut us down. CNN and all the other fake news dirtbags that invert reality. You can just assume whatever they say is the opposite. Look it up. It usually is. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Living in Volcano may sound more dramatic than it really is. The real drama can be found here in Leilani Estates. But a lot of us on the Big Island rely on rainwater, and we need to be concerned about ash and acid rain. Volcanic ash may contain heavy metal particles, and acid rain could lower the pH of the water to unhealthy levels. To find out, we employed a series of tests for heavy metals, alkalinity, and pH. What we learned was that there was in fact unhealthy levels of heavy metals and acidity in the rainwater. Next, we tested the water from our Alexa Pure gravity filter. And not only were the heavy metal levels within safe measure, but the pH was also restored to optimal levels. As it turns out, the filter on the Alexa Pure raises the pH of the water. So what we've learned is that volcanic ash and acid rain can contaminate a rainwater supply. But more importantly, a good water filtration system will purify it.